Are you suffering from distorted vision or frequent change of glasses? Are your daily activities like reading, writing, driving becoming challenging for you? Well, you might be suffering from keratoconus. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sonali and today we are going to talk about a progressive corneal disease that is known as keratoconus. So keratoconus is a disease that affects the outer part of the eyeball that is the cornea. Because of excessive rubbing or itching or allergic conditions, there can be a decrease in the strength of the outer surface of the cornea. Because of the decrease in strength, the cornea can protrude outside in the shape of cone. Hence the name of the disease, keratoconus. Kerato for cornea, cone because of the shape it is acquiring. The shape of the cornea that it takes, it causes an irregular astigmatism because of which you also suffer from vision problems. So what are the symptoms of keratoconus? Keratoconus can have mild to moderate symptoms depending upon the severity of the disease. Some patients only complain of blurring of vision. Some can have severe distortion of vision. There is not much literature on what causes keratoconus, but it is said that genetics can play a role in the etiology of keratoconus. Conditions like allergic eye diseases, conditions like hormonal imbalance, environmental risk factors, it can all contribute to the development of keratoconus. How do you diagnose keratoconus? We first start by having a comprehensive examination of the patient. Starting from the slit lamp examination, a visual acuity testing and also a corneal imaging. We at Divideshti Eye Center have the latest shine fluke imaging system which gives you an idea of the earliest changes of keratoconus. So once you confirm with the diagnosis of keratoconus, how do you manage this? If the case is mild to moderate keratoconus, we will just observe the patient and we'll give him some anti-allergens to decrease the symptoms. The treatment modality of keratoconus patients resolves around spectacle correction. If the patient is not comfortable with spectacles, a contact lens trial can also be done. If the patient is progressing, we'll also go for a C3R that is collagen cross-linking. We have the latest CLUVR rapid device that gives you a fast approach in treatment of such patients. It gives you a homogeneous beam and an adjustable energy range for better outcomes. Patients who are not fit for C3R, who have lesser thickness of the cornea, that can also be gone for a transplantation surgery. All the facilities of transplantation as well as C3R are well available at Dividishti Eye Centre. In cases to stabilize the cornea, we also use the intracorneal ring segments. After the recovery or if the patient is stable, an intracolumnar lens can also be planned for visual rehabilitation. So if you are someone who is having frequent change of glasses or has slightly higher cylindrical power, there might be a possibility that you have keratoconus. So do visit your nearest ophthalmologist to get a complete workup done. And we at Dividishti Eye Center have a whole range of keratoconus management and diagnostics. Thank you.